when it comes to heat damage hair, you know, we know that, and that's a terminology that's just huge right now, you know, to the point where, um, because we're trending, you know, having being natural, the natural hair wear right now is trending. Um, there's so many different ways that people have, you know, been able to coin that. Okay. And so heat damage hair is one of those things. Okay. But now, uh, but my thing is, I'm not saying that, that it does not exist, you know, but what you guys would define as heat damaged hair, that's what we're going to discuss. Uh, because there are individuals that, you know, who, whose hair is damaged by heat. And then there are some of you cutting off your hair. I have, and it just tore me to my heart. I actually had a young girl to actually just the front part of her hair and, and I'm talking about her hair is down here but she literally cut her hair up to just a piece of it up to here because she was like well I, I you know I thought I had to cut all of it off so when I started cutting some of it it was just you know I would just my hands were shaking I was just difficult it was just difficult and I you know and so I just I just you know knew I just had to come in here and just let you you know you cut it because I could not and I'm like uh, and, and after assessing her hair, okay, um, it in fact was not heat damage, okay. It it was it was damaged, but not by heat, okay. So so and then you had this, you know, I, I you know, you have her in high school, you know, just you know doing her own research and based of of her own understanding and what she was thinking you know, heat damage was cutting off her hair. And I'm just like, oh my God, it's, you know, so it kind of tore me, you know, tore my heart when, um, in having a conversation with her as well as actually seeing what she had done. Thank you so much for joining us today. And so, you know, and talking about heat damage hair, has it always been a problem or is it something new? And again, people are definitely coining off of this heat damage hair thing. But let's just talking about, let's just talk about the straightening process, you know. Now, just understanding where heat damage hair did not start here. But what I want to do is define truly, you know, what was considered heat damage hair. Okay, so you know, straightening didn't just start here, you know, with the tools that we're using of, of today. That started with the straightening comb, okay? Um, also known as the pressing comb. Okay, so, you know, um, individuals, I would say 30 plus, 45, no, ooh, okay, 45 plus, what, what, or 40, you know, would understand the straightening comb. But, you know, there may be, some of you in your thirties that would, you know, understand that, that from that world of the pressing comb. And so, um, so individuals, you know, using the pressing comb back in the day now, understanding that the pressing comb was made out of brass. And so they warmed those up by placing those on the cooking stove, you know, and so they had, or heating units, okay, that they would place these brass combs onto and so that they actually use that you know in pressing the hair so now let me just say now you know when the hair they used to test that you know um they used to test it actually using tissue paper and so they would actually test that before they would even touch your hair okay and so in testing it with the tissue paper you know it it, it would show if it left in it, if it tinged the, the tissue paper at all, then it was too hot. Okay, they, they had to wait for it to cool down some in order to actually place it on your in your hair. Okay, but now, now just say, you know, because it, it, it was those individuals that would be all distracted, you know, gossiping on the phone, you know, so where they're on, on the phone, because that was during the time when the phones were attached on the wall, okay, you know, way <laughs> before the cell phones. And so, you know, they could be talking on the phone and pressing the hair at the same time. The next day, <laughs> next day, you know, you would hear them say, oh, uh, uh, you know, and then you looking back at like, what, 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 hold up, what, what, like, you know, and so, uh, or so you would smell it. Oh, oh my God. But when you smelled it, you was just like, oh, I am about to 
it's about to go down. Okay, but now, so let me just say that, but now when when they touch, you know, they will know when, you know, when they went too far, when they weren't paying attention and when they placed, then test it, place too much heat on your hair and it will have that, it will, it will, it will have that, that brownish tint color to it, that line of demarcation where, where it first hit the hair, you know, and so they would know, and when they would say, you know, uh-oh, they knew, you know, either one that was seeing that hair instantly come off or either two, you know, they knew that their hair was going to break. I, I mean, like that was, the damage was going to be done, okay? But now, let's, but now, okay, so now when you start talking about how then that compare, because that is what was considered Back in the day, heat damaged hair. You knew that the hair had been damaged. You know, um, it, it was, you could see the elongation and whatnot with, within those strands. And you knew that the hair was actually going to break off. But now in discussing heat damaged hair of today, let me just say that, um, no, it does not compare to, you know, back in the day, what was considered heat damage hair, you know, but now let's look at that word damage. And that's a word that means physically harm has done to the actual value. Um, it has been impaired the functionalities and usage of it. So now let me just say this, what you would consider, when, so when you say damage, then it has to come off. Like that is impaired to the point where it can it has no life to it. Okay, so when you say heat damage day, heat, heat, let me get that right. Heat damage hair of today, no, is definitely not compared to what was considered heat damage in the past. And so, we're, but now we carry that same thought process because we still using the same, thinking the same terminology of what that meant back then. So we're thinking, oh, well, this hair has to come off. You know, um, because, you know, in, uh, in understanding that, that just because now the entire there, just because that you have the straighter strands throughout the hair, okay, and understanding that, then we want to say, okay, would that then be considered that it has lost its functionality because it will not curl back up, okay? So, so you may say, well, yeah, it is impaired because I want it to curl up, you know, but it won't curl up. But now let me just say this, you know, because we are trending right now, um, natural hair, um, because we are trending, you know, we are in the market for them to sell to us. I mean, they're coming. Okay. They're here, Been, you know, so they are here to sell to us. So now you're going to see all the models whose hair is on point. Curls are defined, shine, bouncy, you know? And so we're like, oh, I want that look. And because my hair is natural, you know, I may have fine hair, but it is, it's, you know, whereas we think, oh, it's natural hair, then I could get a two strand twist. But no, your hair is not in the texture to hold a two strand twist. You know, but we, but now because it's trending, it's beautiful and it is absolutely beautiful, but not everybody can get it. You know, so now because we're trending and they're selling to us, you know, um, we want to see that we can get our curls like this. And it's just like, oh no, if your curls can't not get defined like this. And if, and if you have, you know, and if you do have the strength, the strands here, then you know what? There's heat damage hair cut it off. You know, we have th this product over here that we can sell to you that's going to strengthen and grow your hair. And so now you are an agent for them to sell for that product, as well as now we can sell the products to then get your hair to curl the way you want it to be. And so, you know, again, is understanding what is considered heat damage hair. Okay. So now, um, so the heat, <laughs> Again, heat damage hair today is considered to have no curl pattern to it. 
Okay, but now I understand too that it's not altered in color. So, you know, it, it has not been scorched or anything like that. You know, it does not have a line or demarcation in it implying that at this mark right here, this hair is going to break off. But now again, that curl pattern is different. Okay, so with that being said, if you have straight strands throughout your hair, what that means is that, is that you know, do I have heat damaged hair? Well, I tell you what, next week we are going to dig deeper into then now what the heat damaged hair looks like. You know, for those of you that actually just came on, please go back and catch the replay. We are defining what heat damage hair is because, again, what we define, you know, today, okay, today, us today, what we would say is considered heat damage hair is not. And we are literally cutting off our hair, you know, thinking that our hair is at the point where it's, it's to no repair and that, oh, I must cut it off. But that is not the case and I'm wanting to talk to you. You know, we have individuals coming from pandemic that has cut their hair, you know, thinking the fact that, and they are home just trimming just, you know, because it's just like, okay, I'm trying to get this certain curl pattern. Okay, how come my strands are straight over here versus other places? Okay, and then some of you have been straightening your hair you know in or have not yet gone back to visit your stylist and you and you're you know testing some things out at home and experimenting but again i want to talk to you about what heat damage hair is we are defining that thing dissecting it out again next week same time at seven o'clock I will be here. Let's dig deep and dissect this thing, okay, because this is the platform and this is what we do here. My name is Morello Kane. It's the Hair Debate, the platform where we debunk, debate, and discover all things hair. See you next week.